What's up friends of the good wood? This is Money and welcome to the three new weapons for War Robots that are gonna come in this weekend, more accurately on the test server this weekend. So in two days we're gonna test them and we're speaking about a medium version of Ember, so the flamethrower, a medium version of Dragoon and we are speaking about a heavy version of Tulumbas, okay? So it's not the Trident, it's a whole different weapon. Let's go into the stats and the pictures. First off we're starting off with the Igniter. The Igniter is now the medium version of Ember or Blaze, okay? And you see it right here, this is the picture of how the Igniter will look like. And uh, it, just to compare uh, with the um, uh, with the Blaze, it's not exact. it doesn't look exactly the same as the Blaze. The Blaze looks like this, it has smaller, you know, injectors for gas or whatever. It is. It has a different look. If you see them side by side, you're gonna see that they're not looking identical, but they have, of course, similarities as they do the same thing right here, okay? So that right here is the Igniter. And um, the stat description says, it's a medium flamethrower that burns with a high temperature mixture, ignoring both energy and physical shields, ignoring them completely. As any flamethrower, it's pr primary effect against, uh, effective against slow targets at close range. And the damage on the statistics here is uh, 278, but multiple times per second, because it's a flamethrower, right? So you can't really take that damage into account. 350 meters range, 5 seconds reload, same as Blaze. But the Blaze did 185 damage when introduced to the test server, and this one does 278. So there's a good a good 40-30% more on it uh, in terms of damage output, and uh, it will be devastating on, for example, a Spectre. Four igniters uh, on the Spectre at the same time. Like, this is insane. This will be very damaging, or you could make some crazy mix uh, setups on with a Lancelot. Lancelot with two fla uh, igniters and an ember. That sounds pretty dangerous, right? So there's gonna be a lot of stuff you can test. Obviously, Haiji Bulgazari will be benefiting from this, maybe even the Kamiho. We're gonna see, okay? Uh, but medium weapons are usually that what, what carries the game right now. Medium weapons... It, it, we have a medium weapon meta in the game right now. And these new weapons coming in as medium weapons, let's see if they will provide some new setups, okay? The next weapon, before we go into uh, into a little bit of um, a more a gameplay here, uh, we have a um, uh, the heavy version... No, the medium version of Dragoon now. It's called the Hussar. And it, the, web, the description says, the weapon's numbers are astonishing. Astounding. Eight plasmide charges in uh, automatic reload, a max range of 600 meters, and impressive damage upon hit. These characteristics make it ideal choice for medium range damage dealers. Important to say, of course, it will bypass energy shields. That's the same effect that the uh, Dragoon has. And uh, the, um, the stats are 2250 damage per hit, but it fires twice per second, okay? So it will be dealing a good 40% or whatever more damage than the uh, Maquis or Marques is, that the light version of those, uh, I guess. But uh, other than that, it will have similar firing characteristics, okay? Uh, with eight charges, so yeah, you're gonna have a lot of damage output. Once again, the Spectre is going to be the absolute monster with this setup. The Spectre is going to be so dangerous, and we're gonna see that in the test server this weekend. So, Saturday, in two days, or not even two days anymore, it's like only one and a half or so, we're gonna test these uh, weapons in gameplay. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet, guys. I would certainly appreciate it. I'll see if you had that notification bell, and then you get notified for when the last test server gameplay, testing these new weapons with the most powerful setups I can think of, is gonna come live, okay? And now the last weapon, ladies and gentlemen, is the Avalanche. And this is how it will look like. Hold on, we're gonna scroll down here a little bit. There it is. And here going closer. This is the Avalanche, okay? Um, at first I thought the Trident was supposed to be the re uh, the replacement for a heavy version of Tulumba, but apparently now we do have our actual heavy weapon coming in called Avalanche that will fire in from the looks of it multiple rockets, more m more so maybe than Tulumbas do, I don't, I don't know exactly, uh, but it will have the same range now. Because the one difference between Trident and Tulumba was that if you combine these, Trident fires at 600 meters range, while Tulumba only fires at 500, right? So you couldn't operate those weapons really effectively on the same robot um, and combine them. So let's take a look at the st uh, description. Avalanche is a heavy slot, medium range, unguided rocket launcher. So no aiming or anything like the Hydra or, uh, or st Spiral have. Rockets have a large area of effect, AOE, and uh, damage deals to a group of enemies as well as their physical shields and or taking enemies uh, enemies taking cover, right? 
So um, with the big splash rain, uh, range and the stats is 3,000 damage per hit uh, all the stats are level 8 stats and uh, 500 meters range one reload uh, Reload time one rocket every three seconds So it reloads the same speed as the trident reloads its rocket or wait a minute Does the trident do one rocket every four seconds? I think it's three two is it? I'm not sure so I guess that it will de be dealing more damage than trident because it has lower range but other than that I think it's going to work really similar maybe with a higher fire rate instead of these slow shots that the trident fires so less damage per hit but multiple hits and altogether more damage output than tridents will have probably but less range so you can no longer counter setups like shock train spam Spectre, sorry, uh, or, or certain other long-range setups um, and, and stay out of their range. And that was kind of the thing that made the Tridents or makes the Tridents so attractive is that you keep, stay out of range out of a lot of things, okay? And you're gonna have that not here so much with the Avalanche. But also, this is going to be tested on the test server. I'm jumping into one free-for-all match with you guys. I want to have uh, a celebrate the medium version of the uh, Flamers coming in by using one of my, uh, if not the most favorite robot I have, uh, the, the Strider. Oh no, I misclicked. I wanted to use the Strider. Okay, we're gonna... Sorry, I clicked... I, I chose the wrong robot. I need to die very fast so I can choose the Strider. Um, I want to celebrate this by running the, uh, the, the blaze and, and, oh, no, he's coming in now. Okay. Did I get him in midair? Yep, I did. And boom, boom, that's it. Whoa, somebody stole him? How? How did somebody steal that guy? What the heck? Where did those flames come from? Enemy 5 just took that kill somehow. How in the world did he do that? Whoa, okay. Uh, that was not how I wanted this, uh, but apparently that's how I got it anyways. Whoa, I, I literally done like 99% damage and then enemy 5 somehow got the, the kill. Uh, and I, I was on I was really surprised to see that he's even fighting this guy because normally this guy has his own enemies to kill, right? He's got his own targets. It's weird that he, he, that he chose to go for this one. Hmm. Okay, we need to lock down this Haichi finally. It's... Ah, he's just running away the whole time. Uh, I'm not gonna use my jump here because I don't need to. I'm locked down, that's bad. And here comes something jumping in. Okay, I got it. I got him as well with the explosion here. Oh boy. Okay, we've got this kill. Now I can jump into the strider in a second here. Yes, we got this guy as well. Okay, so this is what I wanted to celebrate with you. This is what I wanted to play. The Strider with uh, the three flamers because we're going to see a lot more flamers coming in the future. So he's going to jump now, isn't he? Yep. See, and this is why you don't need Quantum Raider. You just jump around the wall. <laughs> you just jump around the corner and now he's, he looks like a, a pretty frustrated and can't get you. See, no Quantum Raider required on this robot uh, for some heavy duty performance. Am I seeing... What is that? Is that an Aochun? I think that was an Aochun that I've seen there in front of us. Enemy 5, I think, has an Aochun. Yup, and he's currently flying. So I'm gonna try and get this guy as soon as he lands. Um, but I, I, it won't be as easy. Oh, he just got himself two kills. Uh-oh. And now he's getting attacked from all sides. I want that kill. Come on, give it to me. Yes! Oh, he got three kills. He killed the other guy as well in the in the last possible second there. So we have this guy here coming in with his Lancelot. And you see what we're doing with this Lancelot, man. These flames are just so brutal. The Lancelot doesn't stand the cha slightest chance because he can't do anything against these flames. And that's the problem that he has. See? The dash makes him... Uh, run misses rockets and here we have a Galahad coming in having the exact same problem that the Lancelot has and this is why I wanted to run uh, the flamer here with you guys in this video to celebrate the incoming medium version of flames because this is going to be pretty crazy just imagine ladies and gentlemen that you're gonna be able to bypass any energy shield and physical shield completely no one is going to pr uh, be safe from you with any type of defense except the Pantheon robots with their uh, unblockable shield, the, the shield that you just can't kill at all, right? That's the only thing that uh, yeah, that will not be protected by it. Uh-oh, my last stand is used. Ooh, boy. Ouch! 
That's enemy 5. I don't want to get killed by enemy 5. But I want to get killed by someone else! Oh, he got me anyways. Enemy 5 already has too many kills and he somehow got me anyways there. So is this explosion? Yeah, this Mercury explosion got him there. Okay. I guess he's last standing right now. Yep. Got the kill. Nice. Okay, I got, I got at least... Oh, no, that's bad. I have no dashes. I have no dashes ready. I have no dash. Not even one dash. And that is kill. That is death for the Strider. The Strider without dashes is like a... It's like a baby. He can't protect himself in any way. He's completely helpless. Oh boy. So more rockets coming in on me? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I have I'm always on the edge with my dashes. I'm always too short on dashes, dude. Okay, let's go in and get the guy immediately here. And once again, not enough dashes ready. I need that kill. Okay, here it is. Goes. Got the kill. Oops. There comes the Spectre. I'm regenerating my flamers in the meantime. The Spectre is going to be attacked from the side, but enemy 5 has last stand on pretty much any robot, as we've already seen here. So uh, taking him out will take a little while. Okay, there it is. I think that the shotgun um, robot there in front of us has actually activated the last stand on this guy. So we have last stand here too, though, so we can also protect ourselves. <laughs> Gee, uh, this Strider, by the way, is one of my favorite player, uh, uh, characters, ah, uh, characters, what am I talking about? Uh, one of my favorite robots in the game right now. It's, uh, it's really powerful, and it's very dangerous to, to fight. Oh, yeah, I know what he's going to do. He's going to walk uh, over the corner, yep, I knew that. He, he wanted to walk above the corner. Oh, he's getting me. Uh, what I need to do is uh, release his last stand. That's what I want to do. I want to release his last stand. And I think I did. Nice. I just made it. He, his last his last stand is now used. And there, there comes the shielding. Okay. And running in the flames. Boom! By Ares. Well, you're gonna have to run into those rockets, uh, if into those flames, if you want to fight me. With no last stand and very low HP, I won successfully against the strongest robot in the game. Uh, the Ares with lockdown and with, uh, with last stand also. Even the combination with these things did not win against this uh, Strider. Because the flames per uh, allow, allow me to uh, move in certain ways that counter the movement of the Ares. And the speed on this robot is good enough. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna, be have, a I'm gonna have a problem here. He's gonna jump on us, because I think it's something with jump. Is it not? No, it's the Ares again. Okay, and I see what he's doing. He's trying to come in from above. Because he knows that's the only way how he can catch us. And he activates the flames already. See, that's the battle that he doesn't want to fight. He doesn't want to fight a battle where I'm letting him run into all these flames and he won't be able to do anything against it. I can corner shoot better than you can, sir. So now we're, d we're having the same thing again. He's, uh, he wants, he needs to get me. He needs to get close to me and lock me down. But I, uh, my only chance to fight this guy is to not allow him to get me in any way. And there he comes again, see? He's just playing with a shield. That's the only way how he can how he can fight. Maybe I can just fool him around here. Like this. Uh-huh. Yep. Now he's taking some decent damage. And I need to reactivate his last stand. There it is. Last stand is active. And uh, now he's waiting for his shield to come back. <laughs> Enemy 5, I'm sure you're I'm sure you are used to winning with uh, with this robot. I'm sure you are so used to winning, but not against me. Not against with me when I have the Strider, sir. Sorry, you're not going to win. Oh, you got me! You got me hit with one weird lockdown. One weird lockdown caught me. Did you see that? I was already here, and he was on the opposite side. He was on this corner, and he fired one single tap with the halo, and I'm instantly st 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 stationary. 
Wow, didn't expect that bull, ha bull happening. <laughs> so what do we have coming here? Is it again the stri uh, the the Ares? It may be. It may it may be again the Ares. Oh, it's a Falcon now this time. Okay. He's going to try and jump on us. And I'm just going to jump right here. The the thing is he was he was taking double damage for a little while. Um, but that won't help me for much longer. I don't think I can beat him now because I don't have enough health to do this. But I baited his jump again to go into the wrong direction. Uh, almost. Uh, well, we got him down to 50%. I guess that's better than nothing. And now he wouldn't stand a chance anymore because we are now with full HP. I was down to 40,000 and I couldn't beat the full Falcon anymore. Uh, but now we can, uh, yeah, we can take an additional beating here, and we even have another last stand here ready for it, so it's not really anything that you can do at this point. We can just grill each other. We can grill each other a little bit. Why not? Look how much damage he's taking, even though this is a fully maxed, uh, very likely to be a fully maxed, uh, maxed robot there. And now we're actually gonna have him here. Boom. No problem. Let's check out enemy 5. He had some lots of last stands on most of his robot. And uh, I guess that most of these things are also well leveled. Maybe not all ma maxed out completely, but really well leveled. And I was only using one robot, uh, except the misclick Mercury in the beginning. Uh, and this would be Mad Max. Nice fight, Mad Max. Show, show me what you had. Ah, you're still in the process of leveling that Auchon, huh? Uh, this one is really powerful. You got three kills very fast with this in a row. I saw it happening, man. Good job. Whoa, and the Falcon was actually Mark 212. Crazy. And the Ares, um, when you have this thing at level 12, I mean, this is uh, it's already incredibly powerful. It's already an absolute monster beast. But yeah, you guys see what you can do with the flames. And now imagine this to come in or into a Spectre with four of the even stronger flames at the same time. This is going to be pretty brutal, ladies and gentlemen. But let's leave it, leave it like that. You guys seen here the pictures. I'm going to show them to you once once more. Here the uh, the igniter, um, the medium version of flamer. Uh, then wait, next picture. Go me to the next picture, please. I can somehow. Okay. Why is the combination, the button combo for uh, next picture is no longer working? Now it's working again, okay. Then we have here the medium version of Dragoons, which look bigger. If you take a look at this, is the short, this is the uh, maquettes, okay? Looks like a baby, baby version, very short. And this is the Dragoon, it looks longer, more like Dragoon here. So, and this is the, the Hussar, Hussar it's called. And we have the Avalanche coming in. That is also going to be very interesting. But yeah, so let's leave it like that, say, Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. See you guys on Saturday with the text server gameplay to these weapons. And bye-bye.